Hi there trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install True Ride's curved equalizers for tandem axles. We're also going to show you an example of a damaged one, how to determine the appropriate measurements you'll need to replace it, as well as the difference between a maintenance free and a wet bolt application and how to get those swapped over to one or the other and which one's going to be best for you. Oftentimes when you need to replace your equalizer it's due to a lot of noise that you're hearing here at the back of your trailer. A lot of suspension noise and that's caused by play in between the bolts and the attachment points and your equalizer is one of the biggest things that takes the hits because your equalizer's purpose is to take a, an impact that happens on one axle and be able to allow that axle to move and transfer some of that impact load over to the other axle, allowing each one to move freely. That's gonna help your suspension travel down the road smoother than what it did before. It's gonna have it, allow it to take those impacts much better. And when they wear out, you just get a lot of noise and it just causes further damage to the rest of your suspension components because of all the play that you've gotten there. The play that gets inside of there allows momentum to occur between the components and that will just cause them to just get beat up. And you can kind of see here how beat up this one is. The hole here on our old equalizer is all worn out. Vertically, it's just destroyed. You can see there vertically, it's all destroyed. And the bushings, they're just pretty much falling out of it at this point. And your bushings should be nice press fit bushings. So we'll take this old one here and we're gonna replace it with a new one. And this one comes with the bushings pre-installed. So that way you can just reuse your old hardware as long as your old hardware hasn't been wallowed out and damaged. We do have replacement hardware here at eTrailer. The distance from the top hole vertically down to the center line of the lower holes is two inches. And the width of our equalizer here is one and three quarter inches. If you wanted to upgrade to a wet bolt kit, you would wanna drive these out and install bronze bushings in there. So that way you would have the appropriate bushing that is uh, for greasing. This is a maintenance free type of bushing and this one requires maintenance. The maintenance free ones are great if you really don't want to have to grease your trailer. They're gonna last longer than a wet bolt would if you don't grease your wet bolts. But I do recommend going with the wet bolts because if you do maintain and grease your wet bolts regularly, these will outlast the maintenance free version. So that really just comes down to what's best for you, whether or not you know you're gonna be coming out here and greasing your trailer regularly. Wet bolts are the best option. If you're not, then I would stay with the maintenance free options. We'll begin our installation by getting our trailer jacked up. You can see I've got jack stands underneath the frame at both the front as well as in the back. I use my jack to lift it up to where our wheels are off the ground so we can get those spinning. And then I went ahead and I took some jacks and I placed one underneath the front axle here, right underneath where the leaf spring attaches to it. And I did the same thing on the rear axle with another jack. You could use a jack stand for one of those, but you are gonna to wanna to have at least one jack underneath these so we can adjust the height up and down to be able to get our bolts in and out easily. Once you've got it all set up here, we can then go ahead and start on one side. We're gonna remove our tires and get those out of the way. The bolt size for your tires is gonna change on your trailer. On ours, we're gonna be using a 21 millimeter socket. We'll then get this one off and set it aside and we'll get our other one off as well. We can now start removing our old bolts. You can see those here. On ours, it's gonna be a 22 millimeter socket for the nut and a 21 millimeter to hold the inside, but your bolt sizes can vary slightly depending on the trailer that you're working on. We'll go ahead and make sure we hold the other side while we zip these off. And we're just gonna continue running down the line, removing all the nuts from all of the hardware for each of the wet bolts. You're gonna have one at each side of your leaf spring, and you'll have three at your equalizer, and that's gonna be one at each side of each leaf spring. So now that we've got all the nuts off, what I like to do to get these out, because they are gonna be in there pretty stiff a lot of times, um, you can maneuver your jacks up and down a little bit to help relieve some of that tension, but oftentimes you are gonna to have to drive it out a little bit. So what I like to do is use one of the nuts that we just removed and I'll thread it on there a few turns. And what this really does is it just helps protect the threads on our old hardware. We're replacing it, but if we smash up the head, sometimes the head of the 
uh, bolt here can actually catch and make it difficult to get out. So that'll just help protect that and make it easier to get it all the way out. Well, then just give it a little drive like that. And then we can go back and remove that nut. And at this point, we've broken it loose. So tapping it out the rest of the way is a whole lot easier. And we'll just use an extension here to assist us. Now, when we popped that, we saw that this wanted to go up some. So that tells us that we need to relieve a little bit of pressure on this axle here. So we're gonna go over to the jack. And we're just gonna let a little bit of that pressure off. We can tighten it back up and then we're just gonna recheck, tap it out a little bit and see if it's loose. And we may need to adjust the pressure a little bit more um, as we go. So we, so we got that one out of there, no problem. And you can already see why we're replacing them. These are the old bushings here, and those should be press fit. And it came right out of there. You can see that the bushing material is just about all the way gone. So this is where we want to kind of do an inspection here, because if our leaf spring or our equalizer here is all wallowed out, we would want to replace those because the new bushings are going to have play in it, and that's just going to destroy your new bushings. So we can grab one of our new bushings here. And we're just gonna see. Now, right here, we can definitely tell that this equalizer is a no-go. We're gonna have to replace this equalizer. The old, the old sleeves just fall right out of it because they're all damaged and it has damaged our equalizer. So pressing in a new one of these isn't gonna do us any good. The play that's in there is just gonna cause that bolt to slam up and down inside of here and that's gonna destroy this bushing and then cause further damage to our equalizer. We're gonna have a lot of noise out of this trailer. And our leaf spring here, it doesn't just fall in there so that's a good sign that it there hasn't been damage done to our leaf spring yet so we're going to take one of the old bolts that we had just knocked out those actually work really well for driving in your new bushings we can slide that all the way up inside of there you want to kind of just check it to see this one here we can see that the serrated edges is kind of worn down sometimes your serrated edges they might catch there. You want to try a different bolt then. You don't want to you don't want to damage the outside here with those serrated edges. This one's pretty worn down, so that makes a great little punch to knock that in. And it's going in nice and stiff. That's exactly what we want to see. So that means our inspection of our leaf spring here is all good. No damage had occurred to that. We were able to get in here and get these replaced with ones that's going to save our leaf spring. The damage has already been done on our equalizer though, so at this point we're going to need to replace it. We do have replacement equalizers though here at eTrailer, so you can match those up with the appropriate one for your trailer depending on its size and get that replaced as well. Just want to make sure that it has the appropriate size hole that matches the, bolt pat the bolts that you have currently on here. These are all 9 16 So we're just going to continue driving this one in. And that's exactly how we want to install the bushings basically in our entire setup here. So I'll be repeating that process for the eyelet over on the other side. And of course, we're gonna inspect that. If it's all wallowed out, we're gonna replace the leaf spring. We'll be doing the same thing with this leaf spring over here. And I'm gonna be completely removing the equalizer here so that way we can get that replaced since it's damaged. To remove the equalizer, we just need to remove these three bolts and then it'll drop right out of there. We can show you that here real quick. We'll go ahead, and, well, this one, it's all wallowed out. Normally you can't pull your bolts out like that, but since all the damage that's been done there, they just kind of fall right out of there. Normally you would have to drive those out to get those out. The one here, we're going to have to drive out for sure because the serrated edges like we talked about here are going to be inside the hanger there and that's going to prevent the bolt from coming out even if there's a lot of play, which <laughs> there is a lot of play in there. So we'll just drive this out now. Take that off of there because you can see how tight the clearance is there that's why we didn't want to smash the head of this bolt that nut being around the outside acts as a collar that prevents it from smashing outward it's a significantly freer after you pop it loose so we can just daintily tap it out of the way and get this worn out look at that that's terrible get this out of here and we're going to get us a nice new one some of the measurements you'll want to check on these when you replace it is the the width of it the distance between center to center on your uh, 
holes there, and then also the distance from this hole to this hole here, vertically, like that. Here we have our new equalizer. This is the one we're gonna be replacing it with. This is what's appropriate for our trailer. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you match that up for yours. This equalizer does come with bushings pre-installed. These are self-lubricating bushings with these ones here. They're a completely maintenance-free bushing. You don't use these with a wet bolt kit. This is just for regular uh, suspension bolts. This is the other side of our lease ring. I just wanted to show you kind of how I got it set up when I'm taking the bushing out. I've lowered it down far enough in between the hanger there to where I can get the bushing drove out. The old one here is coming out really easily, which that's because that's they're all worn out. But when you go to put your new one in here, I've got it at this position so that way the inner hanger here, the top of the lease ring is touching on the inside of that upper hanger. If we don't have it in there and it's just kind of down, your axle kind of wants to flop around and it can be really difficult to get your bushing drove in. But by having it just barely touching on that hanger there at the top, we can utilize that as like a backboard to let us drive this in nice and easy. After we get those outer bushings replaced, we'll want to get those back in place. And to do that, we'll just take our jack and we're just lifting up on the axle, using it to make sure that it's lined up with the holes. Sometimes you have to push your axle slightly forward or backward. And that looks pretty well lined up. Now you do have an option. Your bolt can go in either direction. You could slide it in from the outside in like this. And that's only my preferred method if you know when your wheels are in place, your wheel's not gonna be obstructing the grease fitting here. Because if it is, it kind of makes it really difficult to grease the bushings. You, a lot of times you have to take the wheel off then to be able to do so. So if your wheel's not obstructing it, then this is a great direction. But if your wheel is obstructing it, then I would recommend going from this direction. That way to grease it, you just have to just kind of roll underneath and you can access your grease fittings from the inside. So we're gonna be doing it like that because our wheels do interfere with the eyelet there. And we just wanna line that up and push it all the way through. And we wanna make sure that the whole shoulder of the bolt goes through the hanger there. So you wanna make sure it's all the way lined up. We can then put our nut on it and we'll grab a socket and wrench to tighten it down. The inner one we're gonna hold with a 21 millimeter socket and the outer one we're gonna tighten down with an 18 millimeter socket. And then we'll just zip that down. We can repeat that with the outer eyelet on the other leaf spring as well. So now that we've got our equalizers off, we need to get the old bushings out so we can get the new ones in. We saw that our original equalizer was damaged. So our new one here has the maintenance free, but we're gonna upgrade from maintenance free to wet bolts so we can be the master of the control of the life of our trailer. The old bolts that we use to drive in those bushings, those come in clutch once again. We can just kind of line up the outside of the bolt with our bushing there until we catch the lip and then it'll just drive right out of there. And we're really not hitting that hard when we're hitting it. We're just kind of tapping it, just looking for that right spot to where we start seeing movement. We got both of those drove out, so we'll go ahead and put our new bushings in and then we can flip it over and remove the third one. We'll be using that old bolt once again to drive our bushings in. So we've got our equalizer all prepared and it's ready to go. It's going to install similarly as our outer ones right into the shackle here. We'll slide it up into the middle and take our bolt from the outside, slide it in. It's a lot easier to line the equalizer up than in those leaf springs because you got, there's a lot less parts here so you have a lot more control over it. And we'll just put that on there and then tighten it down. We'll use our same size hardware to tighten these down as well.
Now that we've got that on there, we'll take our shackles and we can put these in place. Same thing, you can go from either direction. We're gonna be putting all of ours on the inside because the tires obstruct here still. One of these is gonna be really easy to put in because you can still maneuver this around to line these up. So we'll do that real quick and get it slid through. On the opposite side, we'll take our shackle, slide it into place, and install the nuts. We can go ahead and snug this down too. And then we'll get our other one installed. This one can be a little bit trickier because we now will no longer can move this freely since we're attached to the leaf here. So you can see, we gotta try to line them up. They actually lined up fairly decently well, but in a lot of cases, it's not gonna line up quite as easily as that. If it doesn't line up, if you're too close or too far away, you'll just wanna lift up or down on your axle here to adjust the distance there, so that way you can get that to slide in. This is gonna go the exact same as the other side. Want to make sure we get our shackle all the way on there. It needs to be over the shoulder of those bolts. And then we can put our nuts on and tighten these down as well. We can now go back and torque our hardware to the specifications outlined in our instructions. And we're just going to repeat this for all of the bolts that we just installed. We'll now want to go in and grease our bushings. You just want to use some multi-purpose wheel bearing grease to do so. We're going to be using a marine grease on our particular trailer here because this is a boat trailer and it's often going to be back down you know in and out of the loading dock and it's going to be exposed to a lot more moisture than what your typical trailer is. You can get grease here at each trailer in tubes and we also sell grease guns just like this as well so you can get your whole setup that you need to be able to grease yours. Now it's not uncommon for it to be pretty stiff, so you have to kind of find the right angle and get it on there lined up. And that's what we want to see. You see on the other side where I'm shooting the grease in, how it has started to come out over there. That means we've got grease through it, and then we're just going to move on to the next one. And we're going to repeat this process until all of them are greased. And that completes our look at True Ride's curved equalizer for tandem axles.